Jesus Christ, T-Top. What the hell happened to you yesterday? Like, yo. T-Top versus Ill Will. Now, you niggas know I rock with this nigga T-Top. Now, check this out. I'm not naming T-Top losses, but these are the battles that stick out. You know what I'm saying? That most niggas be like, T-Top lost the battle. When T-Top lost to Shotgun Shug, even though Shug was wild on top, I still felt like T-Top was fighting back. You know what I'm saying? He lost, but he was fighting back. As long as you niggas both bring it in the battle, one is going to win, one is going to lose. You can't just kill niggas when you don't bring it. That shit gets crazy. You know what I'm saying? He was fighting back in the Shug battle. I feel like in the Goods battle, he was fighting back in the Goods battle. I feel like in the Surf battle, he was fighting back. I feel like in the Clips battle, he was fighting back. I feel like uh, T-Top brings it every battle. Yo, T-Top, you got killed yesterday, bro. Like, 3-0. Like, it was bad, bro. I, like, you was literally melting on the screen in front of me. I didn't know what was going on, bro. Like, it was crazy. Like, yo, it will just, like, all three rounds, Top, like, and then Top, I'm gonna be honest with you, but your bars weren't all that. Like, like you guys gotta understand something, bro. Just because you getting paid more than somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Just because you could say I'm, I'm top tier. Like, that's what the old top tier were doing to y'all. That's what y'all are trying to do to, to new niggas now I'm noticing. Like, that's not going to help you in a round. If anything, that should make you write even harder knowing all of this. This nigga, Ill Will, is just letting all kind of things out. This nigga's talking about the UFF. Talking about uh, T-Top didn't even get 10,000. You know what I'm saying? He got his, but, but T-Top didn't get his. Now, this is a harsh angle right here. This is I'm going to tell you why. Because both of these niggas are saying they the king of UFF. But how are you the king of UFF if you didn't get all your money, but he did? You see what I'm saying? It's damn near sort of like the whole the, what, what the whole top tier is doing now. I got paid more than you, so how are you the king? It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's a super haymaker because I actually heard that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm only saying that because it will finally put it out there in the public. But And that's never been used against T-Top. I don't think no one even knew that. You know what I'm saying? If it's true. If it's true. Let me just say that. You know what I'm saying? So that was a haymaker right there to me. Um, he was talking about how he was exploiting his moms to be top tier. We've heard niggas say, oh, you talking about selling drugs to your moms. And we ain't never heard niggas say how he was using his moms to get for his battle rap career. I thought that was a haymaker. Then, once he got to the Kanika Jenkins line, rest in peace, it was just like, I ain't even have to hit a line. You know what I'm saying? Once he said, rest in peace, Kanika Jenkins, I was just like, oh my God, are you serious, bro? He's going to bring this up. Made Top look crazy right there. It was... Uh, I mean, Top tried. I mean, he was. He, it's not like he went up there and didn't say anything. But it was like definitely so far apart the material. I don't know. What, I don't really know what got into T Top, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, yo, this nigga was making you look crazy up there, Top. Like it looked like he wasn't getting no type of reaction either. Yo, one thing about this crowd: if they rock with you, they rock with you. But if they didn't, they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. It wasn't no, we just cheering just to cheer. There ain't no, we just booing just to boo. Okay, it was booing niggas too. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, they rock with you, they rock with you. They was rocking with Ill Will. And it was so noticeable that it was ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was very uncomfortable, T-Top, to watch you on that stage yesterday. I'm just keeping it real. Like, I hope I never see this happen again. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable watching you on that stage yesterday. This nigga Ill Will was going. The second round, he had a bar. And Shout out to you, bro. They had a... Uh, uh, they had some fucking celebrities in the building, Adrian Groner. They had, uh, uh, what the fuck, um, what that chick name? Whatever, man, fuck all that. They had celebrities in the building and shit. I'm high, I can't think of a name and shit. But, yo, fucking, I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. I don't think it's, I don't think this is damaging. and it's gonna destroy T-Top career, but this better be a wake-up tour right here, T-Top. This, this might wanna, you might wanna wake up now, but this is ugly right here. You got 30, bro. You got 30. Hey, from up, I'm out.